what's going on? Hey, how is everyone doing? What's up, Jason? Jason! All right, what's up, what's up? Hey, from the frozen Minnesota. Hey, from the extremely cold Florida. I mean, I'm, that cold. I'm, I'm, that I'm cold. cold. I'm a puss. I'm not going to lie. I hate the cold weather. It's not that cold, guys. It's cold. I don't, I don't what's so quiet? I don't run this crap. Um, no? No. No, I, it's not that cold. It's actually 68. No, it's not. 68. 58. No. Hey, it was 58 in New York. No. Yes, it was 58. You just said 58. I say 58? Yeah. Well, it's almost 60, so. Okay. It's not that cold. Anyway, whatever. Play this bad boy here. So today's show is brought to you by the fine folks at Star Audio. Ooh. Hello! Volume? Volume is good? Sound is bad. Wonderful. Can you repeat that? Sound is bad, okay? Hold on. What about now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, bar volume is very low. Well, uh, I don't think you had to switch all the way up. Your voices are quiet. Our voices should be good now. All right, let's hit pause for a second. All right, better. how do we sound? You guys are there quiet. You go. All right, can wow. you hear me now? Yeah, it's better. It's better. Is much that, better. Is that much better? Mucho mejor. Is that is that is that good? Yeah, good? perfect. Live? Yes, yes. Oh yeah. Nice. Flicking good. switches. All right. So waiting for that to refresh. All right. So. Today's show is being brought to you by Scar Audio. That's right. Yeah. That's them. All right, so why are they bringing the show to us today and, and what do we have behind us? So this is a EVL six and a half dual subwoofer enclosure that they make. Um, yeah. Comes in this box right here. Okay. Now, the reason why I wanted this for the show today is I called I called him up and I said hey listen uh, we had a customer come in and he had this and he was like dude you guys got to hear this I'm like all right let's go out there and take a listen and I was like wow literally walked around the corner called up Shane said dude I, I need this for the show on Saturday I as you guys know am not a big fan of the small subwoofers but this was super impressive so what what it is is it's uh, I'm gonna give you some specs because everybody wants specs right everybody wants specs definitely uh, and then we'll get to doing all the cool answering questions and fun stuff but you know we got it we got to get the bills paid real quick so 24 by 10 and a half by 14 yay the port is 18 square inches by 23 inches long okay it's got a one inch baffle in the front and the rest of the box is made out of three quarters it's 1.2 cubic feet of net airspace. It sells with the two woofers in it for 180 bucks on their website. Um, the subwoofers have a peak power of 400 watts with an RMS of 200 watts. They have a two inch voice coil. They come in dual tools or dual fours. Right now we have it powered by this guy right over here, which is the RP350.1, which mm -hmm. is plenty of power for it. We will, we're gonna play it, we're gonna play it. Um, it has a low pass crossover, a vera between 50 and 220, a subsonic filter that is off all the way up to zero to 50. Um, base knob is included right here. Four gauge inputs, 30 amp fuses, uh, base EQ of zero, six or 12 dB boost, and it goes for 90 bucks. There you go. All right, so it's a small woofer. And, and we wanted to get it so we could put it in Fernando's car and play with it. But we're like, obviously, you know, if you guys have been watching this year, which most of you have, show sponsors. So they're sponsoring the show today. Change the title of the show, so it's supposed to read Scar Audio, but 
we'll change it later. So just pretend like it says that. Just pretend like it says Scar Audio. And by the time they see it, it'll be a change. So. That's, yeah, that's really good. For two, six and a half, it's nice. Now, of course, we spent most of the morning going through YouTube trying to find um, YouTube friendly songs that they wouldn't go crazy of, and we found a couple. Yeah. Um, we're going to play this one. This was our, this is the both, this is the song we both liked. Now, I know you're going to say, like, well, what's the name of this track and all that? I have no idea. I have no idea. How do I add my episode to my system? You watch the episode video. Hey, from Denmark! Now, I don't know how this is sounding on your guys' end, but on our end, it's very impressive. It's really nice, yeah. Okay, well, enough is enough. Yeah. If you want to hear it later on, we'll play it a little bit later on. It was fun to get it all going. When when you do the box, get a DB ringing. I have seen two six and a ten or fourteen. Not sure if that's high or not. Uh, that's a good question. We could use the DMRTA with the microphone attached to it and see to what see kind of SPL we're SPL. getting yeah. out of um, out of your car. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna put it in his car. We're gonna film another from the install bay. Yep. All right. So as I said, the DMRTA is still on sale. You could still use the coupon code. Is good till February eighth. So you can take advantage of getting the DMRTA with the added Bluetooth, Bluetooth dongle. Make sure you put both of them in the shopping cart. So the Bluetooth dongle and the DMRTA, which I'll grab in a little bit, show you guys. Put them both in the shopping cart, then apply the coupon code, and it'll adjust the, the price down 150 bucks. So that's awesome there. There you go. Those rocks, I have four in my truck. Oh, awesome, Jason, that is cool. Hello from Texas, Victor's in the house. Yeah, is 900 Saludos. watts RMS on a five channel lamp decent amount or 400 watts time R4 subs? Um, I mean, most five channel lamps, like the PDX V9 is 900 watts. There's a couple other that are 900 watts, but yeah. 900 watts. So typically how that breaks down is 100 by four and 500 by one. Yep. It's a good combination of uh, power. Yep. It's, yeah. It works really well. Um, Yay, five star cars. Hey, that's us. Yeah. Those rocks. Okay. Um, What's Fab the Kitchen DMRTA? Is pimping the DMRTA too. Of check, course he is. Yeah, um, check hold on. the. Um, yeah, if, talk. Yeah, so the week DMRTA, week. Um, check the video that we did. Last just, week. Yeah, last week, DMRTA. Um, all the live show that we did about the DMRTA. Yeah, we spent so, a lot of time last week really talking, talking about, about that. This is, this is a tool that Audio Control is making right here. Yep. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of time on it tonight no, because no, just like, we talked about it, it it's for a like You guys time. can go and check it out. But if you so go back and watch either the Facebook live show or the YouTube live show, there's links in the descriptions on both of those to the video we did showing you how to use it. So definitely want to check that out. Okay, here we go. Uh, have you used an access wiring harness on the uh, fiber optic factory amplifier? Customer doesn't want to replace the factory amp installed. So yeah, last week we actually did the fiber optic interface in the Mercedes Benz that they made. Mm -hmm. um, sound wise, it worked. Mm -hmm. um, sound wise, it worked. And that, yep. that was that was about it. So the Mercedes ones worked. Um, uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I it's better if you add a second battery capacitors. They just nah. Yeah. Not that not that impressive. So if you can add a battery, Thank a you, real Kelly. battery, that would be cool. That would be the best. Can I update a pack Amp Pro for myself or dealer only? No, no, you can do it yourself. Uh, go to their website. There's a whole um, section there for updating stuff like that. Turn the volume down on that. Uh, is it? Is I don't it? Have it that. Oh, it was weird. I heard your phone. Uh, thanks, Dean. You are awesome. Oh no, thank you. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, what RCAs do you guys recommend? We use Stinger. So any one of the Stinger RCAs, but there are plenty of good RCAs out there from a lot of different manufacturers. Basically what you want is a mild priced RCA. Mm -hmm. Mild meaning anywhere between, let's say, 30 to anything above that mm -hmm. uh, is gonna find a, a, a good cable. You want something that's twisted, has a nice hey, end Bismarck. on it. Bismarck. Bismarck, what's up from Modesto? Um, so yeah, I mean, we typically, when we're doing all the installs you guys see pictures of, we use the, uh, grab a set of those, the Stinger 4000s. Yeah. 
Um, as a minimum, we try, as a minimum, which is what most people go with because, you know, whatever. Uh, we use the Stinger 4000s pretty much on all the stuff we do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good cable. We get extreme reliability out of, out of it, which to me is kind of the most important thing. I just don't want something that breaks. Yeah, correct. Um, let me go back. Um, somebody say, can I replace my radio of the 2008? No, hang on. Um, well, if you're going to replace your radio, make sure to check uh, packaudio.com. Uh, type the model number of your car, year, and everything. And if they make a dash kit for your car, it will be available. If you're not, check metraonline.com. Also, they make dash kits for your car, so, uh, and also you can retain your AC controls. Um, I have a 2009, where did that go? 2009 Ford Escape with sync. If I choose to buy a smart harness, that does not retain sync. Will I lose anything important like check engine lights, etc. codes? No. Uh, the smart harness is, in, is only for audio, so none of that stuff is going to be affected by it at all. So, like, if you get like a the the pack RP4 FD11, I think. Um, usually, um, or if if you're That's really worried about it, uh, you know, obviously go to the iData harness. Um, um, love my DMRTA. Thanks for the five star code. Awesome. So yeah. Cool. I just want to know how many people they actually... What? Bought the DMRTAs? Yeah. Well, I mean, I know, it's, but how many more people are going to buy it? I don't know. Um, ten of you signed up and bought them, so we, we thank, thank the ten you of you that, that did. Yeah. Um, why not? It's 150 bucks off. It's an awesome tool. Like we said, if you want to know more about the tool, check out last week. We don't want to want to keep this one going. I like AR Impact video was great. Thanks. Oh, you're there welcome. There you go. Ah, thank you, Ken. You know, it was funny. Somebody asked me on that one why we didn't include Metra, because Metra now has that type of an interface. Mm -hmm. um, we use the we use those two, and those are probably the most popular two. The Amp Pro was first, and the uh, AR was second, mm -hmm. and now Metra makes theirs. Um, those are the two we use, and that's why we focused on those two specific ones. Um, you know, we did the DSP and the Camaro, yep. where we, we talked about, not this one we put up on Instagram, which we didn't film a video, sorry. Um, do it, Paul. You got to do it before the 8th. Definitely, So you yes. get the deal. Um, but, you know, they the, the current version that they had of the Metro piece had the DSP built into yeah. it, which to me was a big, like, waste. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to use their DSP. I want to use something that has a more in-depth DSP. Now they have that same harness available, what's called the light, which mm -hmm. we talked about because that was introduced at um, the CES, yep. which is going to be an interface without the DSP. Yeah. So once, once those pieces start to ship, we might take a look at it again. But if they're not introducing anything that we don't already have, then it's not worth it. But supposedly they're going to have an F F-150 mm -hmm. before uh, everyone else. So yep. we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, quick question. I bought the Pack Audio Ignition One. Ignition One. How do I install it? Hmm. Uh, Ignition One. Is that the whole one? That's the one that they. Is that, um, is that, the, is that the one we sent back? Yes. Oh, no, oh, yes. Oh, this one. We got that one. No, Ignition One. The Ignition One was just replaced by the Ignition Three, but the installation is the same. Okay. So this is an Ignition One. All right. So for those of you guys who've never seen this. Uh, this is made by Auto Leads, which is a company that Amp Global owns, which is yeah. PAC. Okay. Um, so Ignition 1, which, like I said, has just been replaced by Ignition 3. But they basically do the same thing. They've added more time to Ignition 3. So what this is, is this will give you a turn-on. So if you have a car that doesn't have a... Um, an accessory, or the accessory is hard to find, or the accessory is nothing you want to tap into. All you have to do is it has three wires. It has a red, a black, and a blue. You hook up the red to constant 12 volts, you hook up the black to ground, and then the blue goes out to your source that you're trying to turn on, let's say like an amplifier or something like that. You start the car. When you start the car, it senses the voltage differential between when the car was on and the car was off, meaning the engine was running. So it sees that alternator turning on, okay? and it creates a remote turn on. Now, if you just turn on the car, the, it's not gonna turn it on, meaning it needs to see that big jump from you know 11 to 13 volts to turn on. And then when you turn the car off, it stays on for a little bit. Um, the three really adds the feature for push to start cars, where a push to start car, when you come up to the light, the, the engine shuts off, 
and then it could stay off for a while. The auto start or the yeah, auto shot. Yeah, the uh, you know to yes. save gas, whatever. Mm -hmm. So the ignition three now has a timer built into it. From was it like ten seconds or two Tense, minutes? Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. really, but it's really nice. You Saludos, cut a loop, it's so that that ignition circuit will stay on. It's yeah. a, it, it's really nice too. Where that also becomes nice is if you have something that needs a, a uh, staggered turn off if you don't want to use a TR7 because this is a lot easier to hook mm -hmm. up. But the caveat is you have to start the motor. So if you're going to be sitting in the parking lot, the engine's got to be running. Uh, uh, Evan, are you guys going to Knowledge Fest, Indiana? Uh, yes, we are going that's, to Knowledge that's, Fest, that's Indiana. That's that's the plan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it has connected to constant power up to 24 volts. Once triggered. Uh, real quick, uh, just yeah, go, go to pack, packaudio.com also, and you can find a uh, universal base. Now, do you do you remember what's the model no. number? Uh, by parkaudio.com, LC1. LC1. Line, LC1, line control once. Yeah. Something Just like that. Parkaudio.com, type like a base knob, and push, you're going to find a universal one. So it um, only has, okay, so 5 amps max, constant power. So I don't know how much it's actually putting out. I would assume you could probably turn on like maybe two or three things. Um, you know, it just depends. Yeah. Uh, relay wouldn't be a bad idea if you're going to be turning on a bunch of stuff. What do you think about Kenwood 9005? Yes. Is that the amplifier? I'm assuming. Yeah, I like it. We've, we put yeah, them out all the time. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of the DSPs yes, lately. Yes. Um, are you going to preview the AVIC? Yes. Once the... So if you guys caught the latest unboxing review we did of the Pioneer DSP, that's going to be the new reviews going forward. So we're going... As soon as stuff starts shipping, we're gonna review everything because that that review hey, style Travis is from Canada. way easier for us to do and much faster for us to do it. Because when we used to do the where we'd say, Hi, I'm Dean and Hi, I'm Fernando. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are a lot. Those are we shoot with two cameras, there's there's con it, it takes forever to do that. And that's why we kind of stopped doing them because it was just so hard to edit those. So um, this is much cleaner much yep. nicer um and a lot faster so we can turn out a lot more information to you guys so i hey. feel that's the most important thing. and i want to say thank you guys because yes we reached 85 and thank you because all the good support yeah um i've never heard of diablos so no never i'm sure it's crazy i like diablo shrimp you know that's that's yummy Diablo. um what relay okay. do you recommend for 12 volt remote line I mean, I just use a standard Bosch style relay. I mean, if you can get the small ones for more money, those odds. are better. You know, because you can, you can get a four pole relay mini on Amazon for like five huh. or six bucks. If if you're just doing remote turn on, those are nice. Oh, uh, Jeff said, do oh Andy's Facebook post make you angry? Also, what 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 did Andy do? I don't know. I haven't read it. I haven't read it. Do Andy's, do Andy's Facebook posts make what, you... What post oh, hungry. Do they make you hungry? Oh. Andy's been in... Um, <laughs> angry. Andy, I was like, angry? What are you talking about? No, angry... He's, he's yes, been he's of, in, in Japan? Yeah, Singapore. Yeah, okay. Uh, China. Yes, he's over there. Yeah. Yeah. He's been in Asia. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, his... He, no, the fish head soup yeah. was not anything I was interested in. I would try everything. I would try no, everything. But yeah, the other stuff... Well, no, wait, I take it back. No, not everything. I was going to yeah. say, hello it's, from Trinidad. Yeah. What thumb drives have you guys found work with the 4800 AVA? Uh, so those we've been using the... Yeah, right. Sandex? The what? Sandex. <laughs> Where they are? Hold on. It's Sandex. Yeah. I'm picking on you, man. Oh, yeah. uh, whatever. It's okay. Yeah. I'm just having fun. Oh. So that's what you get when it's Saturday, and we've been together all week and had a really fun week. So we use these guys. They're called Sandus Cruisers. Yeah. And then if those don't work, we switch to the verbatim, these, these old school guys here. Uh, these seem to work on a lot of the pioneers that the Sandus don't work on. Um, but this is, in case you're wondering, this is not a tackle box. These are all our Thank thumb drives for updating. So yeah, just clean it Um, what was that? No, I don't know. Uh, they replied to oh, uh, it's just Eddie. So yeah. Uh, the Pioneer DSP worth having now that you've tested, guys. I talked a few weeks ago. Then okay, post review. Um. 
So, all pretentious aside, because there again, sometimes we, you know, sometimes you let I let my bias affect Washington. how I feel about certain products, and and I, I try not to because I try yeah. to keep as open mind as possible. And I look at the DSP that comes in, in the Pioneer, and I feel like if you've already got a radio that yeah. has, a, if you got a Pioneer radio, you've got that DSP. It's the exact same thing. Now, if you've got something that doesn't have a basic DSP in it, yeah, then yeah, it's not a bad idea. But I wouldn't run out and buy it. You know, I wouldn't run out and buy it, RC especially cool. if you have any form of DSP in your, because it's real basic. But there again, if you have a basic radio that doesn't have a DSP, then yeah, it's it's worth the what hundred and some odd bucks that it costs because it'll get you into DSP. Mm -hmm. But I'd still buy a DSP. Okay, so one. this is the two six and a half uh, EVL. Yes. EVL. Yeah. It is the two six and a half EVL two. We've already said that. You said that. Okay. What we got here is. Tune for 39 hertz. It's 24 by 10 and a half I by 14. It's got a one inch baffle. I, I don't know the baffle uh, or the phone number. Call Shane. Uh, 1.2. Yeah. It's 180 bucks. Yeah. And we're going to play it again in a little bit. Yeah. So stay tuned. Um, we're playing it off of the RP 350.1. Um, okay. Let's see. Did somebody say, Have you ever worked with what? Pacifica, oh man, I hate <laughs> that car. I'm sorry, but I hate it. Actually, funny story. Yeah. Remember showing up before you worked here with the Pacifica? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. yeah. No, so, I mean, no, no, now I, I, I don't hate it anymore because now I, I can, yeah, I can see be, how. It before works, he started working here, he used to bring me all his headache stuff from the shop that he worked at. And, yeah. And of course, Paul. Paul can be his own worst nightmare when it comes to going to pack and Metro and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. if they just, whatever the top thing is, is he sells. And it's yeah. like, it's not always the case. Right. And, and that he had sold you guys the harness. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, you know, he's like, it's, it's a harness you need. It's a harness you need. And so I'm, like, I'm like, okay. So I was like, no, it's not. Yeah. And then you brought it over and yeah. I'm like, here's yeah. the amplifier in the trunk. And you're just like, what? Yeah, exactly. You know, and at the time they only had the Metro relocation harness. That's it. So. Yeah. Man. Yeah, lots of fun. That's God, that's I cool. That. Yes, I remember those. Because you were just looking at me going, ah, oh, man. I no, do, because I gotta do what? I remember one. That was I think like one week, two of the same week, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I have to take it to Dean. Yeah. 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 Me. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. So love my six and a half. Cool. Hi. That's what's nice. your opinion about under seat subwoofers with built-in amp? Uh, okay. Great. So, I got lots of stories today. When I was at Kicker, uh, Kicker makes their little eight inch under seat amplified little guy. And I was never a fan of it, and probably still am not a fan of it. But I said to Lori, I said, hey, cause there was a stack of them over in the corner. And I said, I was like, man, you need to burn those. There again, my bias coming through. And, and she's like, why, why? I said, why would we do that? And I was yeah. like, well, why would you? I mean, I can't. And she's like, dude, do you understand that that is like one of our most popular selling things? We, and she threw out the number of how many of those they sold last year. And I was like, she had to pick me up off the floor because I about passed out. I was like, really? She goes, dude, we sell a ton of those. People love those things. And I was like, wow. There again, just like these six and a halves, I would never until... The dude brought it in and I heard him. I was like, I, I, I need to demo these and show people that these little silly things put out a ton of bass. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, if I've used a couple of them, the only thing I can tell you about the underseat ones is step number one, if you do get one, you have to screw it to the floor. It has to be physically attached to the car. Yeah. If you just slide it underneath the seat, it's not going to work. It needs to couple with the car so that that thing has to be bolted to the floor. If you're not going to be able to bolt it to the floor, don't waste your time because it's not going to sound good. Sound. Hey from Philly, what's going on? Any All tip, right. any bits or tips on a 16 Ultima looking to keep factory radio? Oh man. I mean, if you're, you? if you're looking to keep the factory radio, it's just any one of the videos where we've done integration. Yeah. You know, if it's, you it's all the same thing. Add an amplifier, make sure to, um, you know, I mean, I remove the emergency brake so I can go through the firewall. That's it. Yeah. It's just not fun, but for me, it's it's way better. 
Uh, I, I like what Byron says. Kicker said subsonic cross, crossover is designed to prevent over excursion. Efficiency is a byproduct. I, it, I can't dispute that. I mean, yeah. everything is kind of true from a certain point of view, but yeah, you know. Uh, what did he say? This one? Um, ah, this one. Have, have you, you ever, ever had, had a Pioneer oh. 8800 turn the front speakers into subs? I have that happen. Each, Each time, time. auto EQ. What? Woo! No. But there are software updates for the radio, so yeah. make sure that it is up to date. That's yeah. crazy. Um, wow. That is crazy. What is subwoofer level is on the EQ, the EQ settings. settings? Subwoofer level. I don't know. Is it a volume control? Uh, honestly, internet Facebook guys make up a small amount of the market. Okay. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Uh, hey guys, keep up the great work. Got my Lumi, oh, for Christmas. That's awesome. What are Ooh, your man. thoughts on new model for accuracy? Um, we did get the new model in. Uh, we haven't have had time to yet? do anything no. with it because we've but been we spending so much time yes. on the DMRTA. So what we plan on doing is a comparison between the two. So yeah. when we get an extra hour or two that we're not doing anything, we're gonna, we're gonna throw them both on the bench and put them through a battery of fun yeah. and excitement. Um, where would you go through the firewall to power on a 2012 Silverado cab? So, this is an easy one. You want me to take it? <laughs> so, gas pedal, foot brake, corner of the car, little power box right here that's got a little screw on it, the whole box comes off. Take the cover off, pop the thing off, there's a circle right above it. There could be two circles. There could also be a, a thing going through there as well that's already a grommet, but that's where you go through. There's there's a pull up little piece of. Um, it's actually plastic. the carpet. Yeah. It's like it's already it's cut out. It's a so it's a perfect you just circle. have to like pull it and you drill go a hole. through. But you you lift that. There's two little clips on the bottom of that thing. You push them. You push them. I don't know why I'm over here. You push them both in. That thing will lift up, and you kind of pull it down out of the way a little bit, and you can fit your drill right in there and go right through the wall. Mm -hmm. It's it's easy peasy. Don't go through the grommet as no. much as you want to. No. Um, uh, do the Pioneer radio have simple DSP? It's just, yeah. Just, yeah it's do, just, do the Pioneer radios have simple DSPs? Well, they actually have a they, pretty advanced DSP, cool. depending on which... I mean, that's what comes simple. in the, that's what uh, comes in the DSP. Yeah. So, 13-band uh, EQ. Uh, time correction for all channels. Mm -hmm. um, Subwoofer volume control. Independent level control for each channel. So each each of the, the, the four corners of the car you have independent level control. Um, it has auto EQ. It has a 13 band EQ. It has two presets. It has five pre-made presets. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has all the core things that, and it has crossover uh, for front rear and sub or if it has network mode for tweeter mid sub. All so, right. Pretty advanced. Uh, Kier Chrome, Nate. Uh, he say, got, got my RD Marti. I hope you use the the, um, the code. Yeah. All right. 2015 Malibu LT. What radio harness should I use when replacing my radio? Ooh. Okay. Which so. One is the last one? <laughs> All right. So the first thing you have to find out is whether it has the factory amplifier or not. If it has the factory amplifier in it, which is going to be in the passenger rear corner, that is going to be a most bus interface, which the only place you can get that is from Metra. So. Basically what you could do is you've dropped down the glove box, you look up underneath the glove box where the radio is, the brain for the radio, because you're gonna have that little touch screen in the dash. If it has two big plugs, like a gray and a, and a tannish yellow color, or a gray and a green, you're cool. If it just has a gray plug and nothing else, and then you go into the back and you see that there's an amplifier there, most bust. Uh, with the Rockford Fosgate Mini Amp, 100 times four, go good with the Alpine Type X components. Huh. Well, which one are we talking about? The PBR or the T? If we're talking about the, the T... The T. The T, yeah, because we've done that. Yeah. We've done that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah, those work fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the T404. Yeah, like you could run that, no problem, on a yeah. set of X types. Yeah, that'll... that'll. We've done it. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. Uh, why don't we sell... Um, okay, what are your... What are your go-to cables for most installs? Um, um, these guys, the, the 4000s. We use the Stinger 4000s. Or um, everything. Pretty much anything we can, this is it. I Wire. Mean, we carry the, 
What are we eight, I mean, eight thousands. We have some six thousands, four thousands. We even uh, have some thousands. Yeah, uh, which we use when we uh, for like video and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But um, if thank you, you want Thomas. nine thousands, yeah. Um, suggestion, suggestion DSP with built-in amp replacing front and rear speakers. So, DSPs with built-in amplifiers, so I mean you have like the one I just put in my car, which is the Alpine, it's got 25 by 8. You have the new Forza from uh, Audio, uh, Audison Prima Forza <laughs> amplifier. Yeah. Okay. You have the D6200 from Audio Control. You have, what am I missing? Uh, I would say the Kenwood, but you really, it's an AR, so you really need yeah. to have that. Um, so there's a couple to choose from. Um, Six. So, well, two, uh, three pairs. Three pairs for two amps. How many RCAs for two amps? If you're going to use like a four channel and a two channel, uh, three pairs. Or you just get the six channel. Oh, get the six channel, exactly. Where's the harness junction location for the rear view camera in a 2000 Suburban with rear mirror? Um, it could be in the kick panel, um, or at the, it, uh, to, behind the radio. Mm -hmm. If, oh, it's in the mirror, it's in the kick. If it's in the mirror, it's in the kick. Uh, it might be easier just to get it at the mirror. But, yeah, if it's, if it's, if it's not, if it's just in the mirror, it's the kick. Yeah, I uh, know, we don't build any boxes in here. How are you fellas doing? Um, tired. Good, it was Eric. a long week. Thanks for asking, Eric. Was it was good. a very long week. Yeah. Um, the Camaro we did took that. That was a kick in the nuts. Oh my god! Yeah, um, that was a big. What well, was good? Have you swapped many newer GM vehicle speakers in the dash with the little tuned cars? Have you guys done anything bigger? No. And actually, that's really it's GM's really small. And we when we had the Camaro here, we were playing because we put the Morel little two and a half in the dash, and you were like, man, we should just sold them three of these. And I was like, no, because they don't have a tweeter. And luckily, I said no, because it, yeah. it needed the tweeter. Yeah. Um, but it was nice for the center channel. We used the little Morel tune, and a, tune whatever, for the center channel, and that sounded good. Hey, can you tell me how to change the radio in a 2005 Lincoln Aviator with the THX radio, keeping the factory amplifier? Uh, I think we have a video on that. Not, I don't know if it's on the THX one, though. That's a no. tough one. Um, no, I don't know if so. Metro's making a harness for that or not, because yeah. it's not the same harness as... It's doable, mm -hmm. um, but it, it's like... Where's the I, amplifier on this? Center it's console? in the center console. center console. But the harness is different. So it's like you got to repin stuff and move stuff around. I don't know if... Check and see if MetroOnline.com is making a THX ample, uh, harness for that. If anyone does, it'd be them because they like to make silly stuff like that. Um, otherwise, it is doable. You just have to rewire things. You have to move pins around and stuff like that. Uh, that in your opinion, own, yeah. does system running the same brand speakers sound clearer than if you mix, mix and match, match brand speakers? Speaker um, so it, it really depends what you're talking about. So. If you're talking normal price point speakers, meaning, you know, the sub $3,000 yeah. speakers, um, yeah, I, I would want to match. So, like, for example, if you're doing a set of Kenwood Exelons up front, you don't want to do a set of Pioneer TH or Ds in the back. That just would sound weird. Um, if you're doing some Z components up front, you want to do Z, uh, Z components in the back. The word is timbre is what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. And that's making sure that they match so that the you don't get any phase or time correction or not time correction, but phasing or EQing or just weirdness. Now, if you're doing a full active system, and let's say you really like the way a, a Focal tweeter sounds, you really like the way a Morel mid bass sounds, and mm -hmm. you can EQ each one and and cross over each one independently, no, that makes perfect sense. You know, a lot of guys do that when they're designing these higher end systems. They'll be like, I have this one tweeter that I really love the way it sounds, and I have this one mid bass that I like the way it sounds. Um, just like the uh, the Chevy when we were at Knowledge Fest, he had the three and a half inch from Illusion. From he Illusion. had the Focal mid bass, mm -hmm. and then he had the, uh, the that the subwoofer that they, that they No, the carried. other one, the... Um... <sighs> yeah, but anyways, um, so yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Thanks, Jay. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what was the cost of the goodies on the Camaro on Instagram? Um, honestly, I don't know because that was actually the third Camaro of his we've worked on. So mm -hmm. we've been moving parts from car to car. Yep. So this got more stuff than the last one. 
but there again, when it comes to the pricing and stuff like that, we don't get involved in any of that. I don't. I don't even care. I let Star Marmax. Yeah, for F one fifty price, please call Paul. Um, he will give you all the prices from yeah. equipment and installation. Is there a better universal base knob than the LC one pack LC one? So yeah, there you go. Um. You know, that's the one we use. There are companies like Metro does make one, yep. and there's whatever their line, T spec thought, line. No, they make a T spec Rockford one. They don't make? No, 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 it's not universal. Um, that's just the one we use. Yep. I mean, it is what it is. Most of these amplifiers came with bass knobs. So, uh, thoughts on eight inch Alpine Z9? I'm guessing that's the Halo. Is it worth the price? Well, uh, Victor's on here usually, and he would say yes. He loves his. Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, 18 wheeler, no room for box. Opinion on the JL ABS, AB5S. Mm. I don't know. Never heard of it. I've never heard the. I've never. We heard are it. because we are not, not a JL dealer. Not a JL dealer. Um, so, sorry. I be oh I be I, okay. Infinite baffle five. Okay, the little sub. Okay, no, I've never heard those. Sorry, man. Um, thoughts on running a single sub to a pair. Well, it just depends. Uh, okay, I'm excited about getting my hands on the new. Yeah, no doubt. I am too. Yeah. Um, so, there again, single or pair subwoofers, it really comes up to you. I'm going to be running a single woofer in mine. You have a single woofer in yours. Yeah. It, it comes down to volume, performance, whatever. There's two six and a halfs in here. These sound yeah. like two twelves. Could you have just done one twelve? Possibly. It's hey, up to you. Hey, uh, real quick, tire killer. Um, Jason is here, Fro. Yeah, um, Pro's house. He's he's a JL dealer. Yeah, he would tell you if he does good. Stereo Kings. Stereo Kings. Yeah, give him. Uh, actually, Jason, right now I think they yeah, are right in a in a car show yesterday. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Peerless Pro tweeters for in a car. Definitely cheaper and excellent freaking response. But I believe in idea that you pay you get what you pay for you know it's funny that you should mention peerless because my first set of tweeters were peerless uh, back, back in 90 80 87 that was what everyone ran was a one inch peerless dome tweeter or orion sold them precision power sold them mtx sold them um and we were just buying them from peerless and then we also ran their three and a half inch mid-range which was a dome three and a half inch yeah it was pretty cool uh funny last year halo 9 was nine this year's is there you go, man. man. The you price. get the deal. You got the deal. <laughs> Do you sell the say. molded Bose amp car AV? Uh, gel dealer? No. I say, yeah, I say gel dealer. JL dealer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gel. You get it. Um, yeah, let go, man. Um, no, I, we don't sell that car AV harness. Who is the JL dealer? Uh, for us, it's Fro. not us. But Fro, Fro's house, they, it's, they uh, sell Stereo JL. King in Stereo Oregon. Kings in Oregon. Yep. Um, if yeah, Ed is also a jail dealer. You guys, are, okay, thank you, Jason. Um, okay, what are the best sounding less than thousand dollar component sets, both what? two and three way? It, you know, sound is subjective. I mean, I, I can't really say, you know, for me. I would probably buy a set of Morels. For you, you'd buy a set of Focals, Focals. or even but, okay. a set of uh, Rockford. But now. Okay, you have the nine hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars speaker. Yeah. But if you don't do the treatment that that speaker requires, yeah, if you don't. I feel that it's not pill, gonna sound exactly. Rings. It's not gonna sound. Also, you know, good amplifier. They actually handle well, that speaker. I'm, I'm a, what do you guys think of Dyna Audio speakers? Dyna Audio is amazing. Uh, Flax three weights, yeah. Yeah, Dyna is great, but they're way over a thousand bucks. Um, but no, Dyna's nice stuff, for sure. Dyna's definitely, we, we got to hear those knowledge fast. And it's funny, because I was talking to Casey with Morell about mm -hmm. those, because there was a lot of similarity there for a lot of years between Morell and Dyna. Um, Bill is the uh, rep for Dyna, so. Yeah. Uh, Markel, uh, depends what kind of Pioneer head unit do you have. Uh, but yeah, most, the uh, micro bypass, it works. Yeah. Unless if you had the 4400. Dean, did you ever install the horn type tweeters, tweeters loud speakers? speakers? Um, I, if I got to install the louds, I prefer the um, Neo tweeters. Go ahead. There's a speaker in the man. back. Killing the demo. That's awesome.
that plane consisted. That's fun. What's up, Sean? D H O N E X. Ah, I would go with any X all day. Oh, do me a favor. That's what it is. Shut that off. Go turn that off. It's the Bluetooth. It's connected over Bluetooth. How long did you come to Oklahoma to kicker? Going back anytime soon. Um, when was that? August? What? September? Did uh, I went to? September. Was it? Yeah, because that was the. I think that was the next month we came from Knowledge Fest. Yeah. So yeah, September. It was September. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I I got to talk to Lori about that. They did want to have us back. Um, we'll see. Yeah. I have a new 2018, what do you recommend? What do you have? 2018 what? <laughs> oh my god! You see that? What's up, X-Man? So in case you're wondering, we're running this for the high side. We got yeah. this cool Y-Jack here that's going off to the amplifier. And then of course coming from the phone, and I can control the volume here. Oh. And Fernando's <laughs> trying to break stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, how does this guy? How does this sound on your end? I mean, regardless of brand, or whatever. I mean, just bass coming through the microphone. How does that actually yeah. sound? Because um, we've never done this before, and there goes Dean's phone. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm kind of standing here. It's got no screen protector on it right now. Ah, Jay. That's um, cool. Anyways. It's okay, so... Yeah, I'm just Back gonna... again. There you go. See? You actually break it. Uh, well, what do we power this six and a half? It is with the RP350.1. It is 350 watts at one ohm, 250 watts at two ohms, and 150 watts at four ohms. Variable crossover between 50 <laughs> and 220. Jason. Uh, base knob, four gauge input, 30 amp current draw, base EQ, 612, 0612, <laughs> cost 90 bucks. Oh, I like it. What I did like Jason it. say? Uh, bad over my iPad. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> same. Uh, somebody say, sounds like Steve Me demo on YouTube. Wait that can't you. be bad. Yeah. Um, we want to do more of these. You know, Scar was nice enough to sponsor the show today, so that was it was. No, but like was cool. I'm sure over there it sounds, you know, like eh. Over here it sounds really good. So don't tap. Uh, the distortion is, is the camera mic. Uh, we're not using a camera microphone. We actually use a stupid expensive Rode microphone that sits on top of the stupid expensive cam yeah. camera. Yeah. So it's it's a really nice microphone. Um, but there again, it's not made for. Oh, you guys never this. see that. Um, what, the camera? The camera? Uh, well, you know, not everyone has. Have a no. 2017 time. What do you recommend for double din stereo? Um, go back and watch our video that we did at the end of the year where we talked about our favorite double din. No, uh, you can see it? No? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, um, it's, Go it's back. Bad. We did. We talked about our favorite double dins. Yep. Uh, Jason from Pro, us, and, and who, what we like. Go back, check that out, and we talk about some of the cool things, and then from there, kind of pick one you like and go. Yep. Um, uh, not the best yeah, of my, my tablet. tablet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just curious if it even comes through at all, because, you know, I have a 2018 store. What do you recommend for bass? Um... Well, you're gonna have to go underneath the seat when it comes to shallow mount woofers. Mm -hmm. What do we recommend? For shallow? Yeah. Uh, the kicker, RTs. That's right, yeah. you do 212s behind, underneath the seat there. Mm -hmm. A-Trend makes a box. Um, other company makes a box, but yeah. What car? But it's 2018 Silverado. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, so. don't, um, they don't make uh, acoustic boxes? They don't make for that car? Oh, Fox box? Fox box? I don't know, they might. Depends on how loud you want to get. Plus, it also depends on whether it's a high transmission hump or a low transmission mm -hmm. hump. So, mm -hmm. uh, not as good as Soundman's new box with, with Focal Focal Woofer. Woofer. Well, okay. I would assume I like, not, I like the box. but this box is only... Uh, 100 and what? What is it? 180 bucks. 180 two bucks. Two six and a half, yeah. man. I mean, these are two six and a halves. Yeah. Look how silly this is. The amount of... It, it's... Six and a half! Stupid. Um... 
Wait, what was that one? Hold on. I, I saw F-150. It piqued my interest. Um, I have a 2018 F-150 with a 4.3-inch screen, 7-speaker system using an LC2i. Does the front door speaker send out a full-range signal, or is it lacking... Some highs. Some highs. No, that 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 is a full-range... Is Okay, AT. that is as full-range a signal as you're going to get out of that radio. Mm -hmm. Now, is it a full-range signal? No, because it's a factory radio, which means it is actively crossed Cross over from the factory. Mm -hmm. It has bass roll off. It has high frequency roll off. It sucks. It's a 4.3 inch screen. Save those pennies to get that dash kit so you can put a nice radio in it and 18. solve that whole thing. It's 2018? Thing. It's 2019. What are we talking about? No, they're four. Yeah, you put in a radio in that. It's a 4.3 inch screen all day long. Dash, we, I mean, come on, how many of those have we done? Um, it's basically on my end, but distorted. I figured it would be distorted. Yeah. It's just, you know, we don't do a lot of these type of tests with these. And this is, they're, again, the first time we've done this. Um, and if it's something you guys like, you know, these, we're trying to get sponsors to help us with the show. Um, and also, it means that we get cool stuff to play with you guys in front of. And that, to me, is really uh, what matters. The size of the box is... 24 by 10 and a half by 14 net airspace is 1.2 cubic feet the port is 18 square inches open and 23 inches long okay all right uh the kicker cvr is totally different as the cvt the cvt is the shallow speaker that doesn't uh, we don't like how it sounds if you oh, want CVTs. a good a good shallow speaker comp rt, comp RT. yeah you cvt get... i mean i'm sorry Dumb. cvr it's it's a regular woofer. I was thinking CVT. Comp, the, the, the comp R, or, yeah, the comp R is great. The only one that sucks is the CVT. Yeah. Let's just end it CVT. at that. CVT. Okay. No, no RT sucks. is wonderful. Uh, Lily Legends, a good choice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, the Lily Legends is a good choice for any car. Yeah. I mean, nice 2011 Suburban, but yeah, Perfect. Lily Legends yeah. is phenomenal. Um, send them to me, really tell how they sound. <laughs> Actually, we got to send them back. Yeah, um, we don't get to keep them. Exactly. So, which is fine. I don't want to keep this stuff. I, I, I just want to play it. Get back. Let you guys hear no. it. Talk about it, and Let's then it goes bad. back to them because we don't, we don't need all this stuff. What is it? Um, I mean, it's news? fun, but no. Any news on the APH harness for Toyota? Oh, from Pac. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna, the new one. Um, yeah. no. Any news? No. Jeff has it in his car. Oh, really? Yeah, because he's got the new Toyota, so he's got the new harness in his car. They're beta. They're 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 beta, basically beta testing it right now. So no, not yet. <laughs> no, we don't know. Shit. You didn't hear that from me. Um, how do you convince customers to do sound treatment and step down on speakers instead of the next that. tier and no treatment? Um, so we have a display, and the display has three speakers on it. Three speakers on it. We have what is the middle speaker which is just a generic it's a hole we actually cut out a hole to match a gm so the speaker screwed to it then mm -hmm. we have another speaker next to it that is the speaker with the the appropriate baffle mounted to it Bracket. and then we have the everything what we call the pro um and that has sound treatment bracket fastering so basically what we do is we tell people it's real simple you know if this is what everyone else does. This is what you're going to get as a minimum. And this is what you do if you want it to sound as best as humanly possible. If someone wants to buy a set of Focal K2s, I don't even walk them over to the display. I just charge them. This is what it's going to be. Because if you're spending $1,200 on a set of speakers and you have to ask me about how much it's going to cost to do sound treatment and you don't want to do it, well, then no, you're not getting that speaker. Um, if it's a $700 set of speakers or let's say a $350 set of speakers, I'll walk them over and I'll say, hey, listen, this is what we're going to do for you um, as far as install goes. And you don't really necessarily have to give them the option. Now, if they're like, hey, you know, if, if they're like teetering between a $300 set of speakers and a $700 set of speakers, you can't teeter. You know, it's like, hey, listen, I, I get that you're like I'm almost ready to spend an extra $300 to buy the next level up. Spend that three hundred dollars and, and do the, the pair you're looking at right. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of how that process goes. Um, but there again, I'm not a sales guy, so I don't really have that doctor fun loving approach to it. I just say, I'm the guy that's putting it in. If you want it to sound good, you do this. If you're not going to do that, 
I can't guarantee how it's going to sound. More than likely, it's going to sound like crap. It's going to rattle because you're going to cut and take this speaker and put it in a tin can and be like, I want my cool speaker to sound awesome, banging around inside of that. And they just kind of look at you and you're like, well, I mean, hey, that's what it's it is. It's because he's Dean, man. It's yeah. like, hey, whatever you say, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now running at 15 EVL. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Um, what, what do we got here? Um, I had three of the Scar EVL six and a half and around. Oh wow! And it's cheap. Wow, nice. Yeah, I, I gotta admit, man. Uh, Albert St. Louis, Morel. Okay, hey, what's, what's going, going on? on? Albert? Um, okay, I, I gotta admit. I mean, I was honestly this. You know, we did the video where we had uh, Big Red. Yep. Uh, Sean. Yep. Did some, and I was like, wow, those are cool. Uh, Correct. And then Scar is making this one, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta play that because I want to put it in your car. Mm -hmm. uh, all about how much money. It is about yeah. how much money. It's always. It's always about the money. You know, there's always a budget. Yeah. No matter what, there's always a budget. What model number? What was that? What model number is this? This is the EVL. EVL what? What model number six. of six and a half? And what's the RMS on each woofer? Um, so Scar EVL. 6.5 D2. There you go. So it is a peak power of 400 watts and an RMS of 200 watts. As a two-inch voice coil, it comes in dual or single. It comes in dual two or four ohm voice coils. You're selling and it. You're selling it. If you want all the specs that they have, which they put everything up on the internet, you can go to their website, right Staraudio.com. Okay, and you can look at every single spec for the speaker. So if you want all your Teal, uh, teal small parameters, yep, yep. they're all there for you to have. Um, this is just something they're doing, preloaded box. Hey, um, no. What about, I mean, okay. Uh, kick the can down the road. Right. There you go, and that's what it sounds like. Um, I have a Pioneer W4400 and Focal speakers. Would I benefit from adding in an audio control DM608? Or is the process, okay, so yes. Um, Yes, because you're going to go from 13 bands of one EQ, meaning... For everything. For everything, to 32 bands... 31. 31 bands, sorry, I always get that wrong. 31, because it's an even number. I know. I, I hate odd numbers. Yeah. This year's screwy, because I'm yeah. going to be an odd number age. It's going to screw yeah. up my head. Um, 31 bands of front, rear, sub... On eight channels. eight channels. So you get... Pick a channel. Pick channel one, 31 bands. Channel two, 31 bands. Volume control. Yep. That channel. Volume control this channel. Right. Crossover for that channel. Yep. Crossover for that channel. So all these things that, that you don't have now in that Pioneer, you're going to have access to. Yep. Do you need it? That's always the million dollar question because... I want to win the million dollar question. Yeah, exactly. Does it, if it sounds great... Don't break it. It's not broke, don't <laughs> fix it. But if there's something that you're just going... I need a little bit more. I, yeah, I, I, I think I'm losing then something. Then yeah, that's when you buy it. And that's why I own a lot of crap, because I go, and then I get it, and I go, oh, it, yeah, right there, perfect. But sometimes it's like, nope, I don't need it. Uh, 47. Yeah. 47 this year, yeah. uh, in June. 47, so, huh? Yeah, 47 wow. in June. Shut up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep, going to be 37 this year. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Uh, Sap from Five Star Car Stereo. Oh, really? What's up? <laughs> um, That's awesome. How old are you? You're, you're going to be what? 30, 35. 35? I'm going to be 36. Okay. So we've been together, what, six years now? Six years. Six years. Yeah. So I would have been 41. You know, and, you know, I'd come in, I'd be like, oh, and he'd be like, what's up, man? Come on, old guy. <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong? Can't move. Can't move. Can't move. Last week. Oh, man. Oh, I hear this in the back of the car. Oh. Dude, I stayed for two <laughs> hours in the back of the Camaro. You see that oh, yeah. right there? It's like I was like this, like this, oh, putting God. down yeah, roll kill and everything. Oh, that's crazy, man. That was great. No, that was not great. Anyway. Oh, that was wonderful. Um thought you were twenty two. Yeah, I wish. Dude, um this shiny spot here is a dead giveaway. Si sí, puedes uh, para el DMRTA puedes puedes intentar otro otro tipo de micrófono no no tiene que ser uh, audio control pero este si funciona bien adelante si no audio control uh, tiene el micrófono para el DMRTA. 
Um, does Pioneer make? No, they still make the PRS-80, and that's about it. So they got nothing cool coming out that's going to replace it as much as we asked for. We'll probably never get it, and God oh, only CNN. knows what's going to happen with Pioneer now that they've sold to <laughs> exactly. the company. Uh, Fernando's 22 and Dean is 33. Always, for, yep. forever. And I'm from um, Mexico City. Hey, what's up from Sweden? Uh, can you adjust each individual channel on an audio control 608 and 810? Yes, you can. So, uh, nice. if you download the software to either your Mac or Windows computer yep. or your iPad, yep. whichever one you want, when you go, there's there's three settings. There's input, output, and the whatever the right thing is that I never use. Um, I'm always in the middle. Go to the middle one, scroll down to the bottom where you're going to see your EQ, mm -hmm. okay? And on the right-hand side, which I hope this is the right-hand side because this is my right hand and this might that be backwards. That will be you left. Anyways, on the right-hand side, it says left, both, or right. Um, and then you there's a split icon, and you can split them. So once you split them left and split them right, then what you'll see is it's going to change. Uh, up where the hey, channel is, is you're going to see two individual level controls and two different mute buttons. So now you can mute left, you can mute right, and your EQ will be left and right EQ. So, But out of the box, it comes default together. Sum. And then if you try to bring them back together, it's going to sum them. So if you want to, and it only does those channel one and two, each channel is different. But So if you're trying to figure it out and you make an adjustment left, an adjustment right and then you're oh, I'm gonna turn them back it's gonna either some left or some right it doesn't it doesn't like add the two together yeah. and give you two separate ones yep, 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 uh, yep. any more classic Dean install videos coming out <sighs> you I, I don't you know if I, I thought I had maybe one or two more um, but if I'm, I'm gonna have to dig to find those because um, I knew there was a couple more videos but <sighs> You know, a lot of you guys liked them, and a lot of you guys didn't like them. And there again, not that oh, that cool, ever man. affects me. Um, but yeah, right now we thought we'd just give it a rest. If I can find some more, maybe later this year, we'll bring that back. We'll do a couple, and then we'll yeah. wrap that up. But there's only going to be a few left. Um, so, what's what's Haley doing? Oh, Dad's the fourth, uh, mine is the thirteenth. Oh, birthdays. On oh. June? Yeah, it's June. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Yep, we're both. Oh. Four and 13? Yeah, I'm four years old. Four, I'm four years old. Anybody know what that's from? I'm four years old. Roberto! I'm four. I'm four years old. Anyways, have a great evening. Thank you so much, Jason. You have a great evening, too. And See thank you, God Jason. you're here because you are the keeper of the time. Yes. Man, time has blown you got by it. today. I cannot yes. believe it. If you guys are interested, head over to scarradio.com. Drop them a call, send them a line, let them know that you, you saw this cool thing. Even if you don't want to buy it, just go, hey, man, I saw this on. Five star. Yeah. I was gonna say Dean and Fernando's car audio talk, but yeah, <laughs> you saw it on five star. If you want stickers, right there. Five star stickers at yahoo.com. Here, send it to this, your home address, okay? Yeah. Don't send it anywhere else, because if you send it anywhere else, chances are good you're not gonna see those stickers. Bill Cosby himself. Jeff, you're the man. Good job, buddy. If you want to, we do a podcast. You yeah. can find it here. It's a half hour show we do twice a month. And there will be another one coming out here uh, probably Sunday night. Yep. Um, if you want if you're, shirts. Uh, a shirt, these. This this is the newest shirt. Uh, you can get them there. There's cheap, too. I think it's like 17 18 bucks. And, of course, you can get hoodies. We got all kinds of fun stuff. Yep. There's like 10 different shirts to choose from. Anyways. Um, Teespring. Teespring slash store slash five star. Pick up the next one. Give me yep. the next one. Uh, DNF Tool Drawer is a place where you can find all the cool tools that we use in the show. The next one. And if you want to become a Patreon member, this kind of goes back to the podcast. Yep. You get a video version of the podcast. So yep. twice a month, you'll get an extra video that is just us talking about the podcast. Yep. So it's fun. It's, it's cool. Yay. And, of course, if you want the DMRTA, you have until February 2nd. Put five star in. You'll get the Bluetooth dongle for free, but make sure you put the DMRTA and the Bluetooth dongle into the cart and then apply the coupon code and you'll save the $150. Both in the cart, it doesn't auto populate. So you have to, that's why I had to make a video. Say, hey, this is what you do. So thank you guys so much as always for watching the show. It is RC, the weekend. Bye bye. Which is Bill Cosby. Ah, I'm so happy everyone knew that Bill Cosby reference. Yeah. Um, 
Even though it's Bill Cosby. Yeah, yeah he'll always uh, be Pioneer.com. Check it out. You can find the model number in there. Yes. I don't Thank you, Jason, one. for reminding me. I'm going to head out and change the video title as soon as yes. I'm done here. Yes, right Thank now. you guys for all playing along. Remember, it's the weekend. See you Monday. If you're going to be stupid, call an Uber, call a Lyft, arrive alive. Because Monday, we're going to be back on Facebook, and you guys want to be part of that. Yes. Lots of questions to be asked on Monday. Lots of fun to be had. Whoo, so excited. You Bye. guys have a wonderful weekend. Oh, by the way, The Boring Life of Dean and Haley. Make sure you check it out. Check it you out. You get to watch me drink some crappy soda. All right, guys. Or go. pop, if you're from the north. Pop. You guys have a wonderful weekend as always. We will see you Adios. later next time. Bye. Adios. Adios, amigo.